Okay, so in this lesson, we're going to see how to um, customize the point marker and label style. So just download the file, which is five point group style customization start and um, from the description box and then uh, get moving from there. Okay, so first thing is I'm going to the trees group. And if it's if you're not able to see it, expand your point groups and you should be able to see trees. Right click and go to properties. And once you're in here, you can change the name, you can change the description and then you can customize the marker as well as you can change the label style. So the marker is basically the trees and the label is the text right next to it. Okay, so before you start customizing it, there are a few little things you need to know. First is the styles that you see here, that's part of the template that is within this drawing. So now if you change the default styles, then copying these sort of the same styles from another drawing might sometimes get a little difficult. The reason being is um, some of these styles might be um, might be might be um, a child to another style. In that case, uh, you have to delete it and import it from another one. And uh, so it's it's a bit of a mess going into that area. So to to in order to avoid all these scenarios, you can go to this drop down here, and there is an option that says copy current selection. You can click on this one. It basically copies this particular style, and you can give your name, and then it works exactly how you want it. You can start customizing it. Okay, so just going to give a different name here. So first thing is marker. There are three different ways you can do it. First is you can use AutoCAD point style. Uh, this is basically AutoCAD has got a bunch of point styles you can use from that one. Or the second option is you can use a custom marker defined from these uh, combinations of symbols. So I can say I, can, I need a cross mark and a box and a circle. I remove the box. I put a plus sign in it. I put a little dash and then I put a box around it, take the circle off, put a dot on it. So you can choose however you want it. And the third option is using AutoCAD blocks. This is interesting. So by default, you will get plenty of uh, blocks that comes with most of the country kit templates. But just in case, if you're not happy with any of these blocks and you have your own custom symbol that you want to bring it in, you can go to the white space and right click. As you can see, it's not very obvious. It's pretty hidden. So you just have to click on the white space and then you get the browse option. So once you click on the browse, you can go and browse the DWG file where you save the block using the w write block command. And uh, yeah, you can import it. So once you fix up, so I'm gonna choose one of those trees. Yep, and then click OK. So that will bring the um, uh, symbol into the point group marker style. Similarly, you can go into the 3D geometry this basically by default every point the cocoa point that you bring it in so it actually use a point display mode you will set it to the point elevation so that means your 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 marker will stay on or under the same elevation as what the point elevation is and uh, display so right this point style controls both the marker and the label so if you turn off the label here you will not see the label in here so that's one thing you have to be careful so you got your marker as well as your label, you can turn off your marker or your label. Click OK. And let's click on OK. Let's go and check the marker. Uh, it's pretty tiny, but that's that's what we get. So we can go and customize this block, make it bigger, and you get a bigger block. So now let's go and take a look at uh, label customization. So I'm going to right click on trees group, go to properties, and this is my label. I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to click on copy current selection. Same as what we did for the marker. I'm going to give the suffix and general tab. In general tab, you can configure some basic settings. By default, just to keep your drawings in a disciplined way, um, first thing is your text. Because with Civil 3D, you have intelligent objects on one side. On the other side, you have labels. There is plenty of labels. Every object has got a bunch of labels. So now these labels have to have some sort of a discipline when you actually create it and you manage it. So that way, it's, it's going to be a lot more useful down the track. So first thing is, all the text that you see within your Civil 3D, uh, by default, the ANZ template actually uses three different text styles. One is your Civil 3D heading, another one is a Civil 3D standard, another one is a Civil 3D title. So every text that you see, every style that is using those text elements will actually use only these three styles. 
So now the advantage of this one is if in case if you got a new client who's coming in and then he's saying that no I want uh, these three to uh, have a different font so not Arial I want it to be Times of New Roman or something else then you can go into these textiles that's basically the AutoCAD textiles and you can change the font within these ones and it will change all the labels within your drawing so that's very neat and clean and next is your label visibility you can set the complete uh, visibility for your entire label label here and this is your object layer for your label I'll talk about the object layer in one of the sessions so pretty much all the objects will be controlled by one major layer so that's your object layer object orientation will be in reference to the actual object and then planned readability is set to true that's a default for all the labels now the downside of that one is when you try to rotate your drawing if it has got let's say 100,000 text everywhere every text will rotate to, to, to the view that you're looking at it to make sure that you're able to see it easily. So that's your planned readability factor. And then the layout tab. So the layout tab is what actually producing these text with actual values which brings it from the points. So that's what the layout does. So what the layout contains is uh, components. The components are um, basically like a, like a little little placeholder where you can put some text in it and that text is basically uh, values which is drawn from the pro properties of that object so that is basically a component and um, you can add different types of components you can see you can add a text you can add a line you can add a block even in the even the label you can add a symbol so that's that's where the block comes in so pretty easy pretty handy so now there are two two different ways that you can configure your layout one is you can have each each individual component for individual properties that means your point number is a property and that can be inside a separate component and then we got elevations that separate property can be in a separate component so similarly you can have each component for each property that one way another way you can have one component for multiple properties so if you want to say if you want to assign one color for all of them if you want to put a box around it if you want to do any group functions that's going to be useful all right so now since this is already configured um, I'm going to quickly walk you through on creating uh, one component and assign multiple properties into it so I'm going to select my first component I'm going to delete it I'm going to select the last one delete it the reason I left the middle one is because it's already aligned right next to the marker so it looks neat and clean so once it's inside so I'm going to change this one to point data so because it's going to have multiple properties in, in inside so next is you can change the visibility that's the same as what you did here but this is for this particular uh, specific component and then um, the anchor point and uh, right now it's set to middle right and you can change to middle left middle uh, top right bottom right you can change all that and contents so that is where it actually links this text into the properties of that actual object if you click on this little ellipsis button here it will take you into the component editor where you can see a code so this code basically is drawn from this list here and once you add this code it will go to the object it will fetch the actual property value and it will format it so that's the coolest thing it can actually add format and then it will it will throw it onto the screen so that's what this one does so one thumb rule is never edit a between these two brackets you see there are two brackets in both sides never edit anything within these brackets so if you want to do something just delete it and start from scratch or add text before the bracket or after the bracket you can do that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose point number add I'm going to come towards the end of it click and then press enter so I go to the next line I'm going to choose easting add go to the next line I'm going to choose nothing add go to the next line I'm going to choose point elevation add go to the next line raw description add so you got a whole bunch of them so now I'm going to type in some text in front of it and uh, this is going to be e colon and this is going to be n colon so for this one I'm going to do it uh, behind the code so description ah sorry so that is z and that's your description okay so now I can actually select either the text 
uh, within the text code or I can actually select the text which I've entered and then I can go to format and I can change the color here now remember the color that you change here will override every other color that you set outside so this basically overrides all those settings so so if you change it here if you want to change it in future you have to come back here and you have to change it so I'm going to change to a bunch of new colors here you can change the text as well the color for them yep once you're happy satisfied uh, then you can click on OK so that's what the preview um, and that's what you're going to get so now once you're happy with that then you can change the text style so now one disadvantage of happy having all the text within one single component is you can't adjust the individual text height so if you change the text height let's say instead of three if you put it in two so it will change the text height for all the objects at one go so and then rotation you can rotate this text around a certain angle and uh, you can have an x offset and y offset that's basically from this little point here how far you want to go from that website that means how how much is offset for the text from that point so I'm gonna say instead of 0.75 I can say 1 so you see it's moving and the same for the y offset as well you can give a color so I can say I want everything to be in this color as usual the reason doesn't it doesn't work is remember for these components we set the colors inside the component inside the format so that would override whatever the colors you set here so that's the reason it's not working and um, similarly you can set the line weight maximum width and uh, visibility for the border so this is border is basically if you want to put box around all the uh, all the labels you can turn it to true so now this one good advantage of having all the components with all the properties within one component uh, you can put one box around all the text if they are individual components you're going to have multiple boxes that's not going to look good okay so you can change the type from rounded rounded rectangular circular and rectangular so you can choose whichever you want and you can add a background mask as well and uh, once you're happy uh, you got something called drag state you can go into the drag state and you can configure a whole bunch of settings in one of our lessons I showed you like how to drag the labels from a cocoa point so the moment you drag it these settings get applied so you can go and change the border color let's say uh, I want the border visibility to be true when you drag it and then I want this color to be in <coughs> red color okay so when you drag it the border color will change to red so once you're happy you can go to summary you can see all the changes that you have done click OK and then click OK here we go so we got the new labels so now if I select my label and if I use the script and move my label as you can see it actually changes color so that's an advantage of the drag set setting stays settings okay so hope you enjoyed this one so we'll catch up again in the next lesson probably we'll go through um, tables and uh, some reports with uh, points we'll go through all those ones okay thanks guys